Hi, this is Mark Nelson with Digital Edge Dental Lab. Today we're going over screw access holes on manually created and angulated screw channels to save time and avoid errors in hyperdent. In this video, the screw channels need to be manually placed because this is a secondary substructure that does not have any implant interface geometries for hyperdent to automatically detect. Now, what we have to do is we have to identify the part feature. Now, what is, what is that? Part feature is we actually have to tell it where the margin line of the bridge is, okay? I click on that okay so then we have we have two modes right for the margin lines we have a manual mode automatic mode now depending on the version of your design software if you're using three shape exocad some other type of dental design software it will actually define okay your margin line so when you come into hyperdent it's already predefined for you so you don't have to go through this but I'm using an older version of ExoCAD. I do have the Galway version, but I prefer to use the, uh, some of the older versions just for my workflow. All right, so I'm gonna click on the margin. Sometimes this happens. So what, what it is is, even though I did an automatic margin line detection, okay, sometimes if you freeform it in your design software, the margin line doesn't come out too clean. Not a problem, not a problem at all. What we can do is come over here to manual mode. So we're gonna select manual. All right, and then you're gonna take your mouse and you're gonna get started by manual. So to get that started, left click on the bridge in one area. And then what I do is I like to actually drag it around. Now, if you go too fast, what's gonna happen is gonna, the margin is gonna jump back and forth on you. So what I would recommend is find a point, left click, okay? And then that stops it from jumping around. And then you can go back and re-extend it all the way around your bridge. Okay, so just go ahead and take your time. Okay, so there, here's around a, uh, a curve. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lock it in. So that's another stop point, okay? I'm gonna come back around. And again, if you go too fast, let me show you a real fast example. If you go too fast with this, right, it's gonna jump around and it's going to lock, try to lock in different areas. So just go ahead and slowly go around the the, uh, the corners right and if it jump around too much too much for you go ahead and just lock it again by left clicking and then just redrag it along okay now to connect the margin line go ahead and get it uh, close to your original starting point double click there you go perfect our margin line is there all right so now that we're in this software feature right it says identify part features as you can see, my bridge has screw axis holes, right? Because this is a screw retained bridge. So what I'm going to do now is, since we're here, we're going to leave this open. I'm going to click on holes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to identify our holes. And the holes are for the, uh, the screw axis holes, all right? What I do is I basically click, left click, one point, two points, and three points. And you're gonna to wanna to try to spread these apart. Perfect, there's one hole. And we're just gonna make our way around the bridge. And let me show you what happens if, if you actually try to place these, uh, these dots for the screw holes too far apart, okay? I'm gonna place one over here, left side. I'm gonna place one over here on the right side. And then we're gonna place one all the way back over here. Oh, what happened? Okay, this is what I wanted to happen. Sometimes you'll have this error where you're trying to identify your screw axis holes and the screw channel hole will either be really big, like we had right here, okay, or actually come out somewhere in the wrong direction going through the teeth. Not a problem, okay? So to get rid of that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our mouse, we're going to left click. So now that we have it highlighted yellow, we wanna delete it, right, and we're gonna start over. So after you highlight it, come over to your keypad, Perfect. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the dots on, but we're not gonna spread them out as far. One, two, and three. Perfect, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna go over to this screw axis hole. And you can see that this screw axis hole looks a little oblong, right? And the reason is, is when I was designing this bridge, the screw axis hole was actually coming out the buckle facial of the tooth. So I did an angle correction. Okay, so now the hole is through the central fossa. A lot easier for the doctor to actually put a little bit of composite 
and cover it up. That way the patient's not noticing anything. So we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna mark it. All right, so what happened? We got a little bit of an error. What it is is we need to fix this axis hole, okay? So come over here again, highlight it, yellow. Just hit delete on your keyboard. Okay, perfect. Identify the part features. We're gonna go ahead over here to the holes again. Click on holes. All right. We're gonna re-identify the hole. Perfect, perfect. Let's take a look at the uh, clusal side. All right, great. Now I'm gonna highlight this and show you. Now take a look at the diameter of the uh, screw axis hole channel. So now we're all equal. So the axis hole that we're gonna mill is the same diameter of the annulated axis hole for the tooth. For the extended version of this video that includes other quick tips such as how to fix inverted screw holes and how to customize centering frames, follow the link in the description below. For more time-saving tips, tricks, and tutorials, you can also follow me on social media or check out my website at digitaledgedental.com. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.